In this video, I'm going to show you how to manage favorites in Microsoft Edge. So let's go ahead and open Edge up. And our first page here, of course, uh, it's going to be Google. And let's go ahead and go instead to something we don't have in our favorites yet. It's YouTube. All right, so we'll jump onto the YouTube site. And we'll take a random video here. Sheep discovering how to use a trampoline. Skip the ad there. And if we want to add this to our favorites, we have right here at the end of the address bar a little star with a plus next to it. So if you go ahead and click on that, you have already added it to your favorites, right? Just doing that one action and it's there. And we can see that if I just go over to favorites and I click on favorites, we see Sheep discovers how to use a trampoline. Right. Well, let's go back to that star because, you know, even once a page is favorited, clicking on the star will give you an opportunity to edit it a bit. Right. So uh, one thing, of course, we could do here is remove. Right. Uh, we can choose where we want the favorite to appear. So right now uh, it's on the favorites bar, but we could choose other favorites or choose another folder. Right. So, but one of the main things that you're going to want to do uh, in a typical situation is to edit the title because they can be far too long, right? And often stuffed with sort of advertising type language, that kind of thing. And uh, so say if we just wanted to trim this down a bit and just say sheep discovers a trampoline, right? So we'll delete all the other bits and we'll click on done, right? So now when I click on my actual favored list here, which is the star next to that star, right? We will see sheep discovers a trampoline, right? So now one other thing to notice is that because this page is favorited, the star is a solid blue. It's not the outline with the little plus beside it anymore. That indicates to you that you've already marked this page as a favorite. Now, um, we've been adding favorites to the favorites bar, but we can't actually see it at the moment. It's not on by default. And, and the favorites bar is a bar that appears just below your address bar here that gives you a quick uh, link, uh, list of links to your uh, most favorite pages, right? So. Let's go ahead and click on these three dots here in the upper right hand corner. And we'll go down to settings. Okay, and once we're in settings, we want to click on appearance here. So and if you don't see this settings menu, there might be uh, three little bars on the upper left area over here that you click and then you'll see this menu, right? So once we click on appearance, we have under customize toolbar, we've got show favorites bar and at the moment it says only on new tabs but what we can do is say always right and you'll see as soon as i did that then the bar appeared and i have uh, my only other favorite that i've ever put in which is google here and then we've got our sheep discovers a trampoline all right so now if we want to delete a favorite from the bar we can always right click on it and hit delete right now we can also edit it so if i click on edit that gives me the option of uh, once again you know editing the name we can even edit the url if that needs fixing right and we can go ahead and click on save right and um, i guess another thing i could point out there when we're in edit you can create new folders right so uh, if i wanted to say Sheep videos, right? We could go ahead and save that. And because I had that folder selected when I hit save, then now our sheep video is, of course, in our sheep videos folder, right? And um, the folder, similarly, you can right click and manipulate. If we wanted to delete that, we could do that by simply clicking on delete. We could rename the folder we can open the favorite, that kind of thing. So, um, you know, that's some basics in terms of uh, 
managing favorites. There's other subtleties. Let's see if we can show you some of those. So say if we've gone along and uh, we've discovered that we now have uh, this video about a goat in the in the water. There's more ads here. So um, I guess we'll just get that playing. Skip ad. There we go. So the thing is, you can grab. Here's the address bar, right? You can grab the icon just next to the HTTP or HTTPS, and you can actually just drag it down to the favorites bar. So if, say, you're on the um, login page for your bank or any other site that you often go to, right? And you know that this is a page that you're constantly needing to uh, access, uh, and you don't want to go through all the rigmarole with the star and everything. You can just simply drag that icon, whatever it happens to be. In this case, it's a lock, right? But it might be something else. Those uh, icons can actually be customized a bit by the site. So whatever it happens to be, just click and hold and drag down, and then you'll get uh, that new favorite there. And these are something you can reorder. So I can click and drag this, and I can put it in front of the Sheep Videos folder, for example. Right? I can grab my Google bit here and put it at the end of the list. You know, so all of these things can be moved around uh, to suit your preferences, right? And and of course, once again, you can right-click and edit, and uh, just you know, delete extraneous to extraneous stuff, right? And hit save there. So um, another thing here would be if you click and go uh, back into settings go back to appearance um, it, you know it's nice to have the favorites bar on but also uh, it's nice to have the home button right because once you're jumping around from favorite to favorite eventually you just want to go back to your main page right so if we click on that to turn that on then we get this nice little home button here right and then we can click on that and that'll bring us to the default Edge home page, right? From which you can do web searches and all that kind of thing. So uh, hopefully that helps you get started on managing favorites in Microsoft Edge.